guys, Ant here from Black Knight Off-Road. Well, today I'm really excited to introduce you to a friend of mine and a business owner on the Sunshine Coast who has an epic 79 series. He owns a 12 volt auto electrical company called Accelerate Off-Grid Touring. And uh, I'm really excited to show you what he does for his 12 volt touring setup. All right, so we're just gonna head down to uh, the beach at Bribey here and uh, catch up with Andrew, as I said, and take a look at this 679. So very interested to see how he's got it set up. All right guys, so here we are on Bribey Island. Lovely little patch of beach here. Beside me I've got Andrew from Accelerate Off-Grid Touring and a plane over. Andrew from Accelerate Off-Grid Touring to my left. We're gonna have a look inside his 79 series cruiser here with this pimp and 12 volt setup. I can't wait to see it. Let's take a look. Well, we'll go around the other side because that's right. where all the controls are. This is the fun side, is it? Yeah, and then we'll um, we'll go back to the other side. So we've sort of got to bounce on both sides, but anyway. Wow. So basically, what? Well, oh, I should have um, got ready for this. This is kind of a bit on Andy's the fly a here. Man, so and his family now, who's got a TV the first tied thing in that here. Needs to be packed. And um, I'm a bit rough, so I tie it back. And um, all right. So basically, what we've got is in this we've got Red Arc Red Vision and that all ties back to the charging system that I'll show you on the other side. But what does a Red Vision do, mate? Just so, for oh, people like All right, me let's get educational. So a Red eyes. Vision is uh, an, the, screen, the display of the Red Arc charging, switching and management system. All right. So this is a screen and also all the switching panel. You it, can um, control certain things from that panel? You can control everything basically. Yeah, it's right. designed, it's got 10 channels of switchings for all my lights, my fridge, my inductive cooktop that we'll get yeah, to in a right. second. Um, it's also got all the monitoring for all my batteries and I've done a bit of a different thing there that we'll go through. Um, and it also, if we had water tank sensors and so on, it'll right. do all that. The other thing it does... It tells you how much water you've got left. Tells you how much water you've got left. And the wow. other thing it does, I've left my phone inside, but it also goes to a Bluetooth app and That's you can right. control all your lights and everything. Which is really nice, turn the outside lights off just on the phone. Yeah, it's, yeah, certainly. And I know when I kind of want that system installed at home. Yeah, I think they've got that. Yeah, it's probably expensive. do. You'd probably have it. Yeah, not quite. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's it's good at rock lights and stuff at nights when you're around the fire because I yeah. can put them to the music and stuff. So it's pretty cool yeah, for that yeah. as well. Oh, nice. Maybe full um, disco at your place. A full disco at my off. place. So yeah, that's the Red Vision screen there. I guess we could go into the weeds, but there's done plenty of videos about that. Yeah. Um, but this is probably... Not on my channel, mate. Maybe on yours. Maybe, maybe on mine. This is my inductive cooktop that runs off my batteries. Uh -huh. And you'll also see for the videos later, we got some drone batteries charging here. Ah, so we got full 240 volt. Um, so when you say charging, talk to me about inverter. Is that what you've got hooked in there, 240 volt? Let's go around the other side. All right. Let's do it. All so right. that was the start. This is the windy side. This is the dark side of the pool. Actually, hang on. Wait, stay there. Watch this. We will just break. Just, just for effect. I don't, just for effect. I don't know if you saw all my display lights have come on. Ah, yes. So this is where it's all at. Uh, beautifully cleaned at the moment, not, Mate, but that's a lovely how we piece of kit. Finish 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, it was nice, and then we took it for a big trip and it got a bit scratched up, but that's Perspex for you. Ah, oh, because you had bits and pieces sitting in here. Yeah, yeah, so you know, that tough. was before I bought the pack out, um, yeah. which now keeps everything good. But basically, what we've got, we've got a 200 amp lithium battery, um, and that's what's running the inverter and everything like that. Right. We've Why'd got, you go lithium? Oh, well, I went, the main reason, weight, the amount of power it actually, usable power it holds, but the third thing. Weight less, yeah. It's a lot less weight, so, so it's 25. For the equivalent 200 amp hour in an AGM or lead acid. Maybe 90 kilos, and that's wow. 25 kilos. Um, the nearly as heavy as you, mate. Nearly, yeah. The, the main re it is a lot more heavier than me. Um, the main reason is because of this. So what I've got going on is a Red Arc Manager 30 and yep. then two 1250s. And while I'm driving, they all switch on and I can charge at 130 amps. So in English? So the battery. Manager 30 does what? So the Manager 30 does 30 amps on its own. So yep. it charges the battery at 30 amps from the so alternator. So it receives input from the alternator, sends it to those lithium batteries, yep. gives it charge. At 30 amps? Yep. And then I've put another 250 amp chargers on yeah, there. Cool. So that gives me 130. Wow. And what that means 
is I can charge that battery in under two hours of driving from flat and that Man. or discharge and that battery will will run everything I need Jeez. basically. Malcolm Douglas is currently turning in his grave. Yeah, yeah. Well, this definitely wasn't around for him. No. Um, so that's the charging side of it all. Um, also, that's got a 240 input, so we can charge from a power point at home if I leave it parked up. And also, we've got a uh, hundred. Yeah, right. So you can just plug in the extension cord. And yep. Yep. Charged. So if I'm going on yep. holidays, leaving the car behind, then I can just leave it on charge and keep my fridge running the whole time. Yep. And the other thing that's going handy. on. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. There's a um, solar panel on the roof. How many watt? Uh, 150 at the moment. And would you get away for how long just running off solar input? So the 150 will stay well and truly in front of the fridge. Um, yeah. So if you're just running fridge and nothing crazy off the inverter, it yeah. will keep in front of my fridge, no so problem. So really, it's, yeah, it's good to go. It's good to go. And then you can just turn the vehicle on, hit the idle up button, and you get charge like, 120 away. amps. Yeah, 130 amps going in. Keep so. that on for 20 minutes and you've probably given yourself yeah another day or two easy wow. easy so Unbelievable. yeah and the, it's funny the inductive cooktop is the one mm. so it uses it draws a lot of current but you cook so quickly that uh, like i did a kilo of bacon and a dozen eggs and i use i think it was 12 percent or something in my battery yeah right so it's insane i haven't worked out those induction cooktops yet but that's a whole other story we'll you do need a video the right on that pot another time the you right pot the right there pot or the right wrong. yeah or the right <laughs> right there. um and then this is the inverter so that's what takes the power from the batteries. That's 2,000 watts. That's 2,000 watt, and that again needs that matches well with a 200 amp battery, and that's what we need to have an inductive cooktop. So just a question: in practical terms, what can people expect a 2,000 watt inverter to run? Oh man! Coffee machines, Coffee hair dryers, machines, hair dryer, um, toaster. As long as it's not a really cheap Kmart one. Yeah. Um, toasty sa sandwich maker, it's uh -huh. probably an important one. Yep. Um, yeah, anything. So pretty much a 2000 watt inverter is going to get all your creature comforts sorted. So with this inverter, I can run an extension lead from here to a caravan and run an air conditioner. Oh, wow. Just, yep. <laughs> yep, so, and the other thing I can do with this, which I should say for the caravan is, yeah. is run an extension lead and dump this battery into my caravan. So if it's been cloudy for a few days, yeah. we're doing a day trip, then in the morning before I go, I can dump this battery into my caravan, yep. charge up my caravan batteries, go for a day trip, come back, this is fully charged, my caravan's fully charged. Sorted. So it's almost a little generator in one as wow. well. Hey, that's incredible. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. What's this uh, stainless steel contraption? Travel Buddy, what's that's that? That's a Travel Buddy, that's an oven. Okay. Yep, so that's an oven, pies. I'm wondering where all the pies went. Yeah. You ate them. Uh, yeah, you can tell. <laughs> Um, pies and I always do my good thing, ham and cheese croissants. Oh, nice. So you jump on the barge, yep. just before the barge, and get over to Fraser, ham and cheese croissants before the trip. Works out so really what's well. the go, like, you, you've got a timer on this thing, you turn it on, yep. and then set yeah. it again? Yeah, it's good temperature, and um, timer, away you go. You can do roast chickens and stuff, you just wow. throw them in a bag. Yeah, yeah. Um, Super yeah. Big. Goes really well. Lovely. Nice. All right, well, let's have a look around the other side and get back to some juicy stuff. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, all right, so we've had a really good look at uh, the 12 volt side of things, the creature comfort side of things, but you know, there's so much stuff that when you go into a 12 volt business, an auto electrical business, you just give them all your boxes and say, strap it on guys. Don't take that the wrong way. But things like, uh, you know, your GME, your, your comms, all these sorts of things, your lights, all that sort of stuff, it doesn't get you know, put on the vehicle by itself. Andrew has to do it, or someone like Andrew. So let's have a look at what else he's strapped on the vehicle. Oh wow, yeah. okay. I wasn't quite ready for this. Uh, all right, so pretty much we've got lots of external lighting. So I've got lights at the back for setting up camp, uh -huh. unlike what we've done on yours. We've got ridiculous lights on the side. <laughs> um, so we've got four light bars around it. Yeah. It's great for going down the beach and seeing everything. And on the seventh um, day, he said, where's totally, Andrew? Where is the sun? Um, yeah. The good thing though with the red vision and the, you know, if you're looking for something at night, you can just turn the light on and the whole field will light up. Yeah. So it is actually pretty cool. Yeah, like when, yeah, yeah, yeah. Missing a kid and yeah. they disappear, a three-year-old disappears <laughs> off in the darkness at night, just hit the buttons and phew. No dingoes where you go, of course. No, 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 not really. I don't have to say that famous line. <laughs> <laughs> Rewind there. Rewind. Let's ha have a look at these steps. Oh, yeah? Okay. There's only so someone who's over right. the age of 80 or 
No, I'm only kidding. These are really cool. It's funny, eh? While you're paying me out, <laughs> I put them on just, um, I guess, to show what we do and show what we sell because we do sell a fair, fair few fair of them. Few of them. Uh, obviously, the older couple, they get the GBM upgrade on the 200 series. And yeah, then the it's a long way up. Can't get in. But now, every time I get into one like yours, it's got a normal side step on you it. You hate it. I hate it. Yeah. I'm converted. Because you know this is um, actually great. And the you thing know what's going to happen, right? I'm just going to be that guy who's bagged these things out for a few years. And you're going to end up with them. Yeah. Because they are really good. I've manifested myself needing yep. these things. There's a few companies that do them now. These are clear view ones. They've been per flawless. Haven't yeah. had an issue. Mate. Everybody told me that they wouldn't last and I'd break them. Yeah, um, yeah. But there's guys that do a lot more work than me with the much more famous cars that haven't broken them yet. And uh, yeah, I found them great. And yeah. they even carried you around standing on them. They that did. Time glass house without breaking I them. I know. So. As much as I tried. Yeah. Because <laughs> he was moaning about them the whole time. <laughs> Let's have a look inside. So I, I wasn't ready for this, so um, there's some stuff. Cleaning the dead bodies out of the way yep, here. Yeah, clearing the dead bodies. So what do you got? Um, most of it's actually behind the back seat, but. This is probably the worst angle, but anyway, we've got um, I've got a constant camera on the back. The screen is a rear vision mirror. All the dual cabs, whenever you put a canopy on the back, you can't see a thing, they're terrible. So we've whacked that on, that's a full camera, so my rear vision mirror basically came back to life. Oh, not lovely. And um, just, the clear thing that looks a bit dodgy is so you don't get reflection actually. Oh, right. Yeah, that's the covering on it. Yeah, the mat on it makes it work a lot better. So we've got a hot tip yeah, yeah. the bottom. Yeah, it's a cheapy iPad map thing I've just chopped up and works the trick. Yeah. Tell us about your comps. What do you got? Uh, yeah, so probably the most common one we sell is the GME XRS 370 is the one we're using at the moment. How do you find it? Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Um, I think it's kind of the one. Yeah. Um, at the moment, I think there's a yeah. brand new yeah, there's a new one out. Um, yeah, I think it. I'm not sure what the number is. Don't don't hold me to that. But there is definitely a new one. It's just come out. So, uh, yeah, we're getting asked about that at the moment. But this this one's been great, so I haven't bothered replacing it. Handheld unit. Handheld unit. Everything there. Yeah. And um, works great. And works well what's, with the radiant area. So down here, yep. so I needed some extra switches. Of course. Uh, it's lit up at the moment. I've got the Selfie going at the moment. Selfie is... So Selfie is a 4G booster. Oh, nice. Oh, it's, um, so yeah, the other How much does it boost by, let's say, in practical terms? If you're getting one bar of 4G, what would it boost? So to? the best one I had, 3G. the story I always tell is I was at Bells Creek with my kids. They were bored. I was getting one bar of 3G. I couldn't load any sort of yeah. Facebook video or anything, yeah. hit the button and that will streaming Netflix in the back. Wow. So yeah, it's it, it works really well. It doesn't, when you're looking at your phone screen though, it doesn't increase the bars in yeah, the top right. corner. So yeah. it's really, everybody's looking for, if I get four bars, do I get six bars or yeah. whatever? Yeah. But it just seems to work. Yeah. Like you, um, yeah, you'll be somewhere and it's, you can't get anything, turn it on. Plus too, I think it's important if you've got a young family to, you know, have Sometimes that little bit of extra bored. security. Sometimes they get bored. Yeah, and certainly well, so. Yeah, for yeah. I think we, for security Netflix, is for you, security for Netflix. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think we'll probably get a sat phone soon. Yeah, for the big trip we're doing. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but cell phone has been great. All about that one. Um, what else we got going in here? Sound system. Yeah, the big Alpine one that everybody puts in these things. Yeah, you got um, another Red Vision up the front, which is always so a good a idea. Red Vision up the front, and that operates all, all the lights. The lights. Yeah. Um, I can control the inverter and the canopy. I can turn the oven on and off, oh, which nice. is probably a good one. Um, Dinner's ready. Dinner's ready, turn it off, or just shut off the roof and I left it on. Looks yeah, yeah. Off kind of thing. <laughs> so yeah, that's yeah. good. Um, I do that as well. Yeah, whoops. Yeah, whoops. And Where's yeah, the water on. Got no water. That's what else have I got in here? I, I lose track. Obviously, the Red Arc Tow Pro for all yeah. the towing stuff. We've got the gauges over there for EGT yeah. and Boost. EGT and uh, Boost, yeah. yeah. Important to have in a turbo diesel, of course. Yeah, definitely, especially, you know, we all seem to tune them a bit. May I open this? And then, yeah, we got the stuff in the back. This is probably where. Mate, this is insane. Tell so us this what's is going insane because on one 200 amp battery is never enough. Oh, so I can tell. <laughs> So basically what we got going on back here is um, this is another 100 amp lithium battery and it runs all the lights and Making everything. Making 300 in total. 300 in total. 
and it's running all the lo external lighting and everything. And the yeah. reason why I did that is that way um, I can just run these flat. So yeah. if, if I, you know, camp lighting, all the external lighting, the stereo and everything is actually hooked up to this battery. Yeah. So that way I've still got my cooking battery and my canopy battery good, and it's also a jack off canopy, so I still got a dual battery. Still system. can't get over that name. Yeah, jack off. So my brain it's, just does. It's a fantastic jack off. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I've done that. And um, this is another 50 amp charger. Yeah. So this battery charges at 50 amps. Yeah. And I should say for the haters that are right at this point going to go, this is ridiculous. How can he be charging so much? We've got a Monster Rapid Power 200 amp alternator under the bonnet. That pretty much makes me able to do this. If I just had the factory alternator, there's no way I could be charging this yeah, battery. Yeah, good point. And, and not only an essential piece of kit in terms of its output, but an essential piece of kit in these vehicles because the stock alternator is in a low riding position. And because of that, there's a lot that's prone or subject to a lot of water and muddy ingress, you know, from being so low. So having a sealed, fully sealed, water cooled alternator, you got to have one if you V870 series. Yeah, so the old has been great and it, it does keep up with all of this. Um, obviously my start battery as well. And so this charges the battery. We've got another thousand watt inverter back here. And, Jeez, um, mate. What's that one for? I don't know, because I you had some space. Because I can. I, I actually <laughs> left this space for a subwoofer but never got around. Oh, okay, yeah, this, yeah. this is actually quite good for um, if you want to charge like iPads or something like that uh -huh. um, and leave them in the cab. Yeah. And have the cab yeah. for whatever. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, so, so you don't have to stick your stuff in the back of the canopy. I actually do use it more than I expected when yeah. I put it there. Yeah. So it's quite handy. Or is that one gets more used at campsites? Yeah, that one's sort of locked in for campsites yeah. and this is just good having 240 volts in the car. Sure. And um, there's the self go we're talking about, so it's switched on. Oh, at the yeah, the self yeah, Green yeah. Light. So cool. it's got an output aerial and an input aerial, and that's um, basically, that's. we'll show you the big aerials on the front, but it's running at the moment. Make sure so, you can get the text message to say, when are you coming home? Can I ask you a personal question? Sure. What would a setup like this cost in terms of both product and labor? Roughly speaking. I know, I'll put no, you on no, the spot no, here, mate, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe, um... Maybe 20 to 25. 20 to 25. Electrically on this car. But this car is completely over the top. Yeah. And I don't think anybody necessarily... Well, I, I've been well, being your business, you want to showcase what you do, right? This is uh, an exhibition of opulence. Yeah, yeah. Basically. Yeah. Um, yeah, you probably like what's in the canopy is probably perfect yeah and all anybody really needs yeah this is probably the over the top section yeah which is fine yeah sure well wouldn't you? you could do a canopy fit out like that well and truly for 10 to 15 depending on some yeah. options which is not unreasonable once it's done it's done yeah i mean let's face it your 12 volt setup really is gonna you know happy wife happy life you know the creature comforts you know cooking food lights you know coffee thermo machines mix. thermo, thermo mix. Mix. Wow. That's the one that gets it across the line with a lot of them. <laughs> when you say you can have your thermo mix, yeah, really? a lot of wives go, oh, I'm, a, I'm in. You're in, where yeah. Do where do we sign? Yeah. Yeah. The Minister for and Finance says yes. And the, the other thing to point out is like these batteries, for example, they got a seven year warranty on them. Right. So you do it once. Oh, you can't go wrong with that. Yeah, use Red Arc, Invicta, all the right products, GME, yeah. and yeah. You, you do it once, it's done. Yeah, beautiful. Well, mate, I'm very impressed with this setup that you have here. Let's have a look at your forward facing lights because I see that you've got a band of lights up the top oh, there. Yeah. That's again. You happy to show us that, mate? Yeah, I want to have a look. You want to have a look? I want to have a look. All right, mate. What's the go with these two whips? All right. So that's self fire. Ah, so self -fi that's self fire, and yeah. that's because I don't use it that often. I, I take it off a fair bit. That's why it's the one in the annoying spot. Uh -huh. And um, and then Jimmy UHF. And um, I actually normally run a shorty. Right. Um, and, it is a unique look. It is a unique. It's goal posts when you're lining up. It does up. kind of look like goal posts. Yeah. Exactly. When you're driving. If you get a broken windscreen one day, you'll know why somebody's used it. <laughs> All right. These are certainly aftermarket. What are they? So I actually made them, but I got the big bits off Mick, uh, Mick's HID. Oh, you got the center off Mick's HID? Yeah, HIDs. so I bought the center and the lights off him, and then I actually did it myself. All right, because um, why? You can. Because I can, and to be honest, he was really busy, and this yeah. can take ages. Because yeah. he was had him lined up out the door, so I just had to crack myself. Yeah. Um, 
turn out alright. Probably would have been better if the paint. Did you set up the disco lights in them as well? Yeah, I've got I got the work, so it's got the switchbacks, the disco lights, the whole lot. Um, yeah, it goes to the beat of the music if you want in the uh, center. Nice, and, uh, happy day. Yeah. It's all the lighting on. It's night armor and livid right. for me. What have we got at the top? Livid lighting. Yeah, yeah. so they're the they're the livids. Um, yeah, see, they're amazing. Yeah. It's like daylight. I actually, it's funny. I, I don't use them often. They look lovely. It, it, it's over the top. It's they're that bright, and where they are, that if there's any dust in the road, yeah. you get so much reflection off the dust that yeah, it's really? not that good. Yeah, so like yeah, on the yeah. beach at night, just the haze from the beach. I am familiar with that from the black night. You know, with the lights on the top. You know, they're fantastic in terms of the way it looks. Yeah. But yeah, practically speaking, you just get that glare back. You do, yeah. Yeah. It's great for when you're following somebody though like one of your mates and you turn your lights on and they can't see a thing because it's just all their mirrors just turn to yeah, turn like sun. Yeah, that'll influence people. Definitely. Step three. And yeah, we've got the two um, two night armor smoked out lights down here as well. Ah, oh, yeah, nice. What, yeah. Uh, who makes this bull armor? That's an off-road animal. Yeah, right. So, yeah, nice. yeah, we're doing a few of that. More 12 um, volt stuff would be a winch. Do you guys fit winches? Yeah, that's a worn magnum in there. Yeah, right. Um, so we've got a worn magnum. Have you used it in anger? No, not really. No? No, it actually just, this morning I used it for moving a camper. Yeah, right. Um, in a front yard and a center wheels, but I yeah, haven't really, it's twin lock, 35s, tire yeah. pressures. You sort bit, of- Fit a right boot, you're there. Yeah, I sort of more use it for pulling other people I think people that out. just about covers the front end. Yeah, I think that's about it, to be honest. Yeah. Um, well guys, that is a wrap on Andrew's amazing 79 series here. The 12 volt setup is next level. I think you'd all agree. So thanks very much, mate. That's I really right. appreciate your time. No problem. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.